Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Since last time, I restocked on power pills for everyone, but now I need to make some pretty major changes to my lineup since I've recruited Ticey Set and Lusoon. At this point, I want most of my generals to have at least 167 intelligence. That is a precise number, not an arbitrary one. You'll see why eventually. So unfortunately, Machao and Huang Zhong do not meet that requirement. So yeah, I'm going to billet them at the headquarters. Fortunately though, Madai does meet that requirement. So I'm still gonna hold on to him, even though he's quite a bit behind on soldiers there. Now, the exception to this requirement will be Taisi Se because he has a really high number of soldiers and strength. So he's going to be a little bit of a glass cannon with his relatively low intelligence. But for one party member, I'm willing to make an exception. Okay, so yeah, let's remove Machao and have Taisi Se replace him since he's going to be my new strongest party member mostly because of his soldiers though not so much his strength and then with Huang Zhong get rid of him and bring in Lusun now Lusun can be an actual tactician if I really wanted him to but he's got such good strength and soldiers that I'm I want to put him in my active lineup just for that he's really that good Okay, so we got that. And then, okay, I need to move around some of my equipment. I want to get uh, the Qing Long Sword over to Lusun since he has more than 10,000 soldiers there. So let me see what I can do with that. Let's go get the crossbow over to Zhou Yu or anyone else. It doesn't especially matter. Get that over to Lusun and get the crossbow over to Zhao Yun. That ought to be good enough for them. Eventually, Zhao Yun will exceed 10,000 soldiers. But for now, yeah, uh, Lu Xun is going to be stronger than him. Now, I've also got a Resurrect on Lu Xun because he has the most, or at least maybe tied for the most. No, he has the most uh, intelligence among my active party members. So he's going to be the most likely to be able to survive and shot compared to anyone else there. So I want him to have the resurrect as well as Zhou Yu, who I want to replace Ganning since he doesn't meet the intelligence requirement there. Zhou Yu is a bit weaker than Ganning in terms of strength, but the intelligence is going to be much more important in chapter 8 since we're going to start running into a lot of Ensha users during random battles even. So that's also why I gave him one of the resurrects there. Hopefully I won't need to use them simply because we have so much intelligence but it's still very possible that I could need them. So now for my formation here Let's see. Okay, so it's going to be a little strange how I'm going to arrange this, but you'll see in a moment. Okay, so let's go like that. Let's bring Zhou Yu into the active lineup. And then like that, that ought to be good. So the way I've arranged my party formation is uh, based on the number of soldiers they can afford to lose before losing an attack multiplier. In this case, like from top to bottom, it would be 75, 99, 57, 69, 53, 65, and so on. So that's why I've arranged it the way I do, even though Lusun and Taisi Se have way more soldiers than everyone else. But I don't want them to lose their multipliers. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I should probably buy another goal wing. We're going to be using quite a few gold wings in Chapter 8. It is massive. And we're going to need a lot of gold wings to help out with that. But for now, three will do, since I'm going to use one right now. I don't need to restock on steeds because I'm not going to be recruiting anyone for, well, from a random battle. 
for a while here. And you'll also see why that is coming up here. So now, let's head in two-way territory. The rebel forces are a little stronger, but nothing extraordinary to worry about. As far as my agility goes, Zhao Yun has, well, 201 agility with Chi Chu Ma helping him out. Tai Si Se and Zhou Yu have 209 agility at this point, and Madai and Lu Sun have 180 agility, so they'll at least be able to keep up with the enemies. Alright, and here we got another new general, just a lot of strength, though. I think we can just go all out on this guy. He shouldn't be too much to worry about, though. I may want to use Jing Xian if it becomes necessary. Let's see. So far, so good. One thing you could do is just cancel the all out at some point so you can take a moment to heal up. But I don't think that's necessary here. We'll be fine. Yeah, he just has a lot of soldiers, but otherwise, not extraordinarily threatening. But threatening enough for us to gain another level. So we get, yeah, not quite 10,000 soldiers, but, well, we're getting there. Not really using a whole lot of Tiger Generals at this point either because of their lower intelligence. Oh well. So like, uh, what was it, Zhang Bao, I wouldn't even use because he has pretty low intelligence. I think it's better than than uh, his father, but uh, yeah, it's still too low for my needs. Okay, how are we looking here then? Okay, yeah, we took a little bit more damage than I would have thought, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay, so for the lineup, now I want to bring Zhuge Liang into the active party. So let's see, I'm going to have him replace Zhou Yu because I want to be able to use uh, uh, and Sha coming up here. Okay, so let's see, yeah, let's get Chi Ma over to Zhuge Liang so we can do that more quickly as well. Let's also get a Resurrect over to him. If you don't have the space for him, don't worry about it. It's not that critical that he has a Resurrect. But it would be nice, just in case. And I'm just going to leave the power pills on Zhou Yu. Zhu Liang will not be using that anyway. So, yeah, don't worry about it. But I do want to have a lot of intelligence among my active generals. Okay, so we get all that. Let's put Zhu Liang in the second slot of my active party. And then everyone else, like that. Let's make Zhou Yu into my tactician. And I think we're good to go. For boss time! Against Jia Hoyun. Okay, so with this guy, he has a decent amount of intelligence. But nothing too extraordinary here. So, let's see. I might want to use one Fu here. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we do that? Just get a little bit of healing going. But otherwise, use Ensha. And then have everyone else attack the rebel forces. I think Zhuge Liang will have a 75% chance of success with Ensha. But we'll see how that all plays out. Oh, he actually has Jisei. Haven't seen that one in a while. But, alright. There you go! Okay, the rest is relatively easy. We've got plenty of soldiers for everyone. Yeah, don't be fooled by Madai's low soldier count. He is a survivor. But can we capture our first castle in Wei? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!